Now, y'all know I love first time, but as a pan song and slash calypso or whatever. But when it comes to my favorite Destro of all time, it has to be this song, Bonnie and Clyde. Not necessarily this version, even though I don't mind this version. This is the reggae remix. But Bonnie and Clyde, oh. If I had to ask Destro to sing one song for me, it would definitely be this song. And we We jump it. We jump it. Is any song or what? You're listening? Yep. What? You're listening? You want, you want me to run singing for you? Gang, give me the card. Please, <laughs> yeah. I don't take any reggae. You don't like the reggae version? Seriously? Is the reggae version you, you get in trouble with? I should have known you thought Calypso, man, you know? No, I, I have no problem with it, you know. That's not my favorite. Um, that's not my favorite music. But you know the song? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't like the song? What? Really? Oh my the gosh. Calypso, the Calypso, I, I like the Calypso version. I'm sure I like this version. The reggae? You ain't sure your vibes in the reggae remix? No. Okay, hold on. There's the Calypso, there's the Soka version. I need you. There's the one you know. Oh, you may not know. Last February. Yeah, help me, what, I mean. what? I miss you dearly, and boy, I cast of grieving yet. That I love the play of of this song. That you know, taking something that we already know, Bonnie and Clyde, and developing that relationship, which is always, which has been done, but it's always been done with like boyfriend, girlfriends, or couples, or husband, wife kind of thing. In this case, you know, they did it where the Bonnie and Clyde relationship is the person and the rag. Come on, that's so that's it's witty. It's creative, you don't think so? Yeah. And then Destra's voice on this song was mm, very nice. Just the right energy with the right amount of uh, vocal sweetness. You don't think so? I, I so oh come thing. on. Ale. Reminding us that, you know, the female soccer artists can't sing and you can't sing through a, a, a soccer song. Like, it don't have to be just a kind of play on rap so or ra-ra-ra kind of thing and a phrasing thing. There's melody within this, oh, this song. Okay. Sprang, yeah, I'm a bit talking like I'm talking craziness now. Which you normally do. I do, but this time I'm serious. Guys, a problem. How okay. we gonna know when? <laughs> Good point, you boy. You always cried wolf. All right, this is the Friday show on Talk City ninety one point one FM. I am who am I, Sprangy? Ogo Peters. No, you have to put my first name and my last name. All I don't that work too hard. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Ogo Peters. Jarrell Ogo Peters Forbes. There you go. I'm in the company of Dennis Augustus, Euphrenius, Juhari Das Wan Lee Sing, Sprang Lang Hall. There you don't go. <laughs> who I also call Sprangy Boo. There you don't go. Also. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we get sprung once a week on a Friday. He gets to uh, come back on Talk City, on, especially during this period. <laughs> Love that I get sprung once a week at least. Oh, the starvation. Why don't you thankful? I am okay. very thankful for that. Mm. Shouldn't I be? I don't know. Who else is teaching me stuff throughout the week? <laughs> <laughs> who else? I'll ignore that. Who am I getting my information from throughout the week? I have remembered. Ah, now we're going to step inside uh, Sprang's opinion. Because Sprang has been away for the week, of course, when he comes on. <laughs> there's always something you have no, to get on that bad. Uh, But um, I still am a bit concerned about the Zika. The Zika? 
When the first, I remember the last time, my last foray into the during the week sessions, mm -hmm. we were at the point where they were discussing the Mokisto, the, the Zika virus, and the boys. Mm -hmm. And we had to just, and they had to just sit there. And I asked quite, quite innocently, mm -hmm. um, can, they, as much as they're discussing, Zika and pregnant and so on, can the Zika virus be transferred from male to female via mm -hmm. um, body fluids in the other boys? And they say yes. I say, if the if the people in them get Zika via body fluids, there must be some precaution for the men to take as 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 because based on based on biology i had learned <laughs> prior to that event there is a particular way a children can be conceptualized <laughs> you understand know mm -hmm. so um so when they tell me yes i say well my next point is is the health division of the country testing blood because artificial insemination requires things that Zika could pass from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. And the Zika now start and they would have had eggs and so on for artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. Nobody emailed with me on that. I say, therefore, it must have something. How, how, if somebody, if somebody get the Zika from not artificial but natural insemination, mm -hmm. how do we know who, who they get it from? How long after they get it from? Uh, do we have to wait until the lady becomes pregnant? Or if they get it from the, if, or they take the same gestation time as the normal mokisto bite you. The normal one? Amos. A, a, Amos Keto okay. bite okay. you. Uh, so I was asking that, and they tell me that is not important. We now have a woman who's pregnant, 23 years old, and we do not know. There is still no mention about she pregnant. There's mention that she's pregnant, there's no mention of if she get it. She own she own personal bite or she get it from a bitten. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And and that to my mind is 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 frivolous health. That is not taking precaution because we could clean down the whole country. By all women who get who 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 might get pregnant and done by the man and them and the bachelor and them have testers who get bite already who have the Zika the, the, and the government taking no position in terms of telling the men to also get you see, like why that, do you think that is? I have no idea and that worries me a great deal that is that is that is poor health management in the first place B, do you think that it has not been explored? I'm asking, do you think I that... I do not know, and that's my point. I should know. I have been asking since I hear about Zika and pregnant. My first question was, can the people... Have they been testing the blood? Of the meals. Of the meals. Has the FPA have a system of testing for artificial insemination? Has the... Do we get... Yes, if they can possible to transfer the virus from male to female by natural insemination, there must be some warning for the men. Are all the men to be tested? Nobody discussing that. They're discussing pregnant. And, I, and I've been saying since the Zika come out and they're discussing pregnant, if well, that is starting in the middle. Today, they get a case that I was alluding to since they first know about the Zika virus, 
and they have not said, well, hey, pregnant, no, she ain't gonna bite. So when exactly, from before, from, from when she get pregnant, to when they discover the Zika, Zika. Mm -hmm. if it's longer than the gestation time, it means that the Zika virus can be passed on with natural insemination. Therefore, men, there must be some, some, some health challenge for men to go and be tested. That's what I'm saying, you know. Mm -hmm. But everybody, everybody discussing pregnant woman with pregnant or pregnant woman is not unlike until all them women in Trinidad is the Virgin Mary cousin. <laughs> they, 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 this halfway. And, and, and I don't understand many of no obligation. Many of no obligation. And that is of grave concern to me. I get your concern. You understand? Because uh, that is half, half, half-hearted health. And must care. be. Um, I, mean, I think that is being done for a reason. Why you feel it done for a I, reason? I have no idea either. But I think that, that it's not conveniently we're forgetting. Um, how the children that are made? Uh, yeah, conveniently we're forgetting how children are conceived. I don't think so. I don't know what is the reason. They don't want to panic people. Oh, of course not. No, that's not that's not the reason. That can't be the reason. I, 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 it worries me a great deal. A I'm just in deal. general very curious as to how we are being fed the information on the Zika. Certain bits of information about the Zika. Up to a point. In all aspects of it, even if you try doing your own general research, you're only being fed information up to a limit. Yeah. And that concerns me. And that, of course, raised questions that is for not me good. That not good health care. on Zika itself. Because you can give me information on anything else, you know, in depth. Um, but this one in particular, and, and how it's being, how the information is being distributed. Yes. Raises, it, 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 it worries you. Oh, yes, yes. It well, not really worries, but I just see red flags. I, 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 I. And makes me think that this is bigger than just it being a... Yes, it's looking like a um it looking like a a, a, a a test tube case. It looking like a laboratory. Looks like something like a cover up. Right? Yes, it looking very But that's just me. That's just my opinion on the matter. No, but I am not saying and and even that is is is, is alarming, yes, but I do understand how they're making the point that and why is it? And again, it, it really brings things in. Why is it that we only? Um, why is it we that start we from only, pregnant? Uh, yes, yes. Pregnant had to be in the middle. Pregnant have to be in the middle. Why it is? <laughs> why it is exactly? Why did you stop in the middle of the area well, center? Well, that's, uh, that's a pregnant pause. But I have the problem. Sprang is, is trying to get some things off his, his chest about uh, the Zika virus. We are now joining studio with our acting CEO, who was not aware that we're on here. <laughs> of course we're on here. We're just talking in studio. Mad, crazy. <laughs> no, but I am saying that that worries me because if, if. 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 Nice. Give him a if, man. <laughs> when they first started the Zika virus, they start with pregnant woman. And you raise the question. And I ask the point, I say, boss. <laughs> boss. And I'm speaking directly to the relevant authorities. What about the men? Women does get pregnant by themselves? As you start to talk pregnant, you start to discuss man. Nobody mentioned men. They get explanation. They even reach the point where they say men could trans, trans, transport the Zika and give man. And it had dawned on nobody. That maybe. That you had to send some message to the men on their <laughs> Some testing. I also had the problem that if if, if the men and them get tests and them get Zika, that will not be a problem because they're not going to give the women Zika. Therefore, we go be clear on the gestation period and how long mm -hmm. she gets Zika if she get by by mosquito alone. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. when they get pregnant with the Zika virus, with it, how long it taking? 
what is the gestation period for the, for the for the Zika to start a wave? I say, look my hair. Oi, where's the position? <laughs> and if their men with the men and them and the men and them doing their own thing and getting Zika, then one man mm-hmm. could get about five women pregnant, which is normal in 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 in, in Haberdashery and Hardware <laughs> in Trinidad. <laughs> One man could get many people pregnant. Yeah. So I, I, I'm asking. So are we really, are we really what trying we, what, to? What, they, exactly, they jump in halfway and nobody and reversing. Everybody going forward, they're busy. And what are your views? What do you think? That's my problem. He, he doesn't know. You ain't getting that at all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that weird. I mean, I, I, I am saying, and we asking people, and the, and and we here sit down on the radio and we talking to people gynecologists and all kind of thing and nobody are discussing that the is men a, and them. that is a health scare but the men and them could be toting it and we could be killing mosquito up and down looking for paint pan with high in our water and it and it could be out of hand and that's my point that's a sprang getting it off his chest it? yeah it is of grave concern it is me. of grave concern and it should be of grave concern because and i asked him for the last edition. you did I, I i was here i was here what is the precaution for men? No, I have got to tell men the precaution. Take precaution. Why? When have we ever told men these things? When? We always tell you women, hey, all this out of all this stuff now. A lie? No, you are lying. Nice. But I am saying that that is, that is dysfunctional healthcare. Dysfunctional. You use dysfunctional healthcare, you use dysfunctional society, but that's a different topic. No, well, well, it, and it always will have people who feel they know everything. But my point is that you, the, 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 the caretakers, yes, have to go beyond guessing. You know what I'm saying? And that, to my mind, we in trouble here. All right. Because this new, this new one, this new one with the 23 year old girl. I mean, from Belmont. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they tell me everything. They tell me where she from. They tell me she, she age. They tell me how much weeks she pregnant. But well, they can't tell me if she how she get the Zika. If she get by, give me a whole bag of useless information. <laughs> if she get by, like I trying to carry the girl out or something. No, I don't care. <laughs> that is not my con- What I want to know is how how when she get by, how long she get by. Who is the person who who, who if she get by or if his if his if his arm. Um, Natural beatitudes. All they tell is what school she went to, who she mother name yeah, is, where she and, DNA, and what the teacher name. And yeah, but and, it, <laughs> and that is what we want to know because we, we, you see, we have to trace it and how. So if they may find an insect bite, mm-hmm. we in more trouble than we know. All right, this is what's going to happen. We need to take a break, and then we're going to connect again with. Um, Zia Olhak, we name um, Chocolate Chua. <laughs> Yeah, the president of the Chocolate Chewers Association. To give us another update on what's happening. And then when we come back, I have another I have a question to toss at Mr. Hall. In, ba- in Barbados, let's call him Paro. What, who we call him Paro? Piper, don't think? Let's call who Paro? Let's call Piper Paro. Short for paranoid. Oh, yeah, we use that phrase, your yeah, Paro. Yeah, it's, it's Barbados. Nothing connection to Pipers, though, but just if, in case somebody is being paranoid and, you know. Babylon's a paro. A piper. How you reach a piper? Eh? How you make that connection to being to somebody else? Eh? I seen Barbados. Yes. Oh, it, what, it was just a random. That's the term they use. They don't say piper in Barbados. Yes, but I'm asking you what brought on that thought. What that brought on what thought? Barbados and piper. No, when I say par, we get in, we could get paro oh. if then give it the information. Oh, okay, okay. But no, in Barbados, okay. that's a different. Right, so the bigger, connotations are different. Bigger Uno self, all the Bajans, <laughs> even though I just did a Jamaican and, and thing, but we uh, well. Bajan accent is one I care to avoid. That dropping of consonants, Carpal. Yeah, Bajan, and they have a they have a long and short kind of thing. Yeah, I well, go on, go. And yeah. I go on. We I gone, go on, go on. We gone, go down the road and we go, 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 go down the road. <laughs> I got from the old man, do I? I grew up yes, in Bajan. Yes, yes. 